Hi everyone, are you there? Hello, hello guys. I think Jenna and Beyond the Scene and Caesar as usual. And if you are watching my live every week, you probably notice. Oh, she's wearing same clothes as <laughs> two weeks ago. <laughs> yes, that's true. Actually, this one is recorded one. <laughs> because I'm going to meet my friend, not friends, family and friends, of course, in my hometown. So I have to miss this lesson. But I don't want you to miss the chance to learn Korean with me. So I beg the company <laughs> that I want to do a recorded version. So yes, this is the one. And please don't leave, even though this is not live, because it's still live. <laughs> so. Today's topic is Korean TV show, so I'm sure you will enjoy this topic, so please keep watching it. And I think some people are joining too. <laughs> hello, 안녕하세요. So, hello. Welcome to weekly Korean live class. And this is Kejin. 안녕하세요, Kejin입니다. So today, yes, let's start. Korean TV show, ta -da benefits of watching Korean TV show. Yes, we should definitely talk about it. What do you think the benefits of watching Korean TV shows? Well, of course, you can learn Korean in the most entertaining way. And also... Hi everyone! Are you there? Hello! Hello guys! I think Jenna and Beyond the Scene and Caesar as usual. And if you are watching my live every week, you probably notice. Oh, she's wearing same clothes <laughs> as two weeks ago. <laughs> yes, that's true. Actually, this one is recorded one. <laughs> because I'm going to meet my friend, not friends, family and friends, of course, in my hometown. So I have to miss this lesson. But I don't want you to miss the chance to learn Korean with me. So I beg the company <laughs> that I want to do a recorded version. So yes, this is the one. And please don't leave even though this is not live because it's still live. <laughs> so today's topic is Korean TV show. So I'm sure you will enjoy this topic. So please keep watching it. And I think some people are joining too. <laughs> hello, 안녕하세요. So, hello. Welcome to weekly Korean live class. And this is Kejin. 안녕하세요, Kejin입니다. So today, yes, let's start. Korean TV show. ta -da. Benefits of watching Korean TV show. Yes, we should definitely talk about it. What do you think? the benefits of watching Korean TV shows? Well, of course, you can learn Korean in the most entertaining way. And also you can catch up the latest trend in Korea. And this is really useful to learn everyday Korean sentences that native people use it in daily life. It's not like the sentences that you use in the textbook or some lessons. So this is really fun way to learn Korean. So I really recommend you to watch some Korean TV shows. But again, you still need a teacher or some Korean language books or learning materials, words, phrases, because these Korean TV shows are supposed to just have fun for native people. So it doesn't explain anything. It doesn't explain any grammar or Korean words, cultural insights. It doesn't explain it for foreigners. So you can still learn a lot of Korean um, cultural tips and pick up some vocabulary. But don't forget, you still need a teacher. And I'm here. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to introduce some Korean TV shows that you can use. Uh, to pick up some Korean words or practice Korean words and phrases. First one is Radio Star. Radio Star. The Korean title of this TV show is Radio Star. Radio Star. Radio Star is 
the English title, and we just read this title in the Korean pronunciation. That's it. Radio Star. Ta -da. Yes, have you ever watched this TV show? Well, it's a talk show hosted by Kim Guk Jin, Yoon Jong Shin, Cha Tae Yeon, and Kim Gu Ra. This is very popular in Korea these days. Why? Because they are very rude. So they invite some guests and basically the talk show is like you invite some guests, ask questions and talk about something. But this talk show is the same, but their questions are quite rude and maybe too personal. For example, I remember someone was divorced and this was very hard woman for the start. But they were talking about it directly. Why did you divorce? <laughs> were you that much terrible? Like, but this talk show is basically about that. They just ask the question that actually people want to know about it, but it's hard to ask directly. But this talk show did. And guests are also aware of it. So they kind of prepare for the answers, I think, because their answers are pretty humorous and very fun. <laughs> they try to avoid some difficult questions themselves, but yes. And also, because of the nature of this talk show, some celebrities don't want to make an appearance in TV show because they have to answer some difficult questions that could cause panic <laughs> to the celebrities. But but, but some less famous celebrities appear in this program and they become so popular because the way they speak was so humorous or they have very interesting uh, personal story. This program will teach you how um, native Korean people communicate with other people. Yeah, it's very fun. <laughs> Please check it out. The name is Radio Star. And one thing that I want to tell you about this, if you watch Korean TV show, you will always see, you will always come across lots of Korean words and vocabularies that you cannot understand. That's why we prepare this. Ta -da. <laughs> so yeah, we have lots of different topics. So if they talk about love or business, school, well, we cover all the popular topics. So you can just check it out. You can find these words here. In the back, there are popular expressions and phrases. So please take advantage of it. We have lots of different topics and also some cultural tips too. And travel to Korea about like Korean money or phrases. Check it out. So you can download this cheese for free in the description <laughs> link near the description so please check it out and it's free <laughs> it's free for korean class 101 members so if you're not a member don't worry you can just sign up by entering your email address and click the button <laughs> that's it so i hope this will be very useful and the next tv show i prepared was Ta -da! 나 혼자 산다. 나 혼자 산다. So it means I live alone. 나 means I. I. 혼자. 혼자 means alone. 산다 means live. So can you guys guess what this show about? Well, I think everyone can guess. So famous celebrity make an appearance appearance in this program and they just show their everyday life how they live alone for example what i remember was one uh, korean actresses wake up in the morning and make a breakfast and then have it and then take a nap and then just play with their cell phone it's really nothing special it just shows their everyday life and that's how you live and that's how i live i feel more familiar to no celebrities after watching this program actually. 나 혼자 산다. Um, 
we watch it every Friday night, but I think the time is different in your country. So if you want to watch it, yeah, check out the time. And then the stars who appeared in this program is called 무지개 회원. 무지개 회원. 무지개 means rainbow, and 회원 means member. So they become the member of Mujige Club. So these solo <laughs> single people are basically Mujige Club. Mujige Club. And I also remember that, do you know uh, Hwasa? Hwasa? Hwasa from Mamamoo, the popular uh, Korean female idol group. Hwasa. Hwasa from Mamamoo. She went to the Korean barbecue restaurant alone and she ordered um, chittering. It's like gut. <laughs> and she did the barbecue alone. And the way she eats looked so delicious. So after this program, all the, the chittering, chittering, <laughs> the gut barbecue restaurant has lots of customers. So it's sold out in like all over Korea. So this program is that much popular. And also since this show shows the everyday life of celebrity, they actually show some really personal difficulties. For example, like um, someone dealing with their debt or how, to, how they are paying back their debts or um, some death of beloved their pet, like dog or cat. So you can see, you can see their personal life through this program. 나 혼자 산다. And you will also see this bear. This bear. The, the eyes of this bear are actually camera lens. So they put this bear in their living room or room. So this bear is actually recording their everyday life. Like this, sleeping, watching TV together, taking shower. Yay! <laughs> okay, so next TV program I prepare for you is Running Man. If you read it in Korean way, it's Running Man. Running Man. Running Man. Well, I think this program is very, 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 very popular in um, East, wait, Southeast countries. <laughs> because I have a uh, friends from Thailand, Malaysia, the Philippines, and they always talk about this program, Learning Man. This program is popular in Korea, but I think it's more popular in other countries. And I guess it's because, well, basically the rule of this program is really simple. So even though you're not really familiar with the Korean language, everyone can understand. Ta-da! <laughs> yes! They are about to run because that's what this program is about. They're basically running. So it's one of the longest running Korean game shows. Yeah, I think they started, I don't remember the exact year, but really long time ago. But this program is still popular. So the rule is really simple. The contestants wear the name tag on their back, on their back here, and then they just run away. So everyone tried to take off each other's name tag from the back, and the last person who survives is the winner. But it's, it seems simple, but it's not, because they still have to complete lots of different uh, tasks, and also sometimes they divide in the, in the team, and they betray each other. Yeah, it's very fun. So please check it out. Learning man, learning man, learning man. And if you like Korean idol uh, groups, then they often make an appearance in this program. So you should check it out. And next one. Ta Hello, counselor. 안녕하세요. 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 안녕하세요 means hello in Korean. It's quite a polite way to say hello. <laughs> 안녕하세요. It's standard way, standard and polite way to say hello. 안녕하세요. It's the name of this talk show. 
And I actually watched this program yesterday. <laughs> you can watch this program on YouTube for free. So this show is broadcasted by KBS, the public company of Korea, pu public broadcasting company of Korea, and they upload this program the whole program on youtube after i think few weeks one week two weeks i don't remember exact date but yes they upload the whole program with english subtitles that's great isn't it and yes so i watched it yesterday on youtube too Ta -da! yes these four are the main um speakers and actually the full name is 대국민 토크쇼 대국민 It's like national talk show 안녕하세요 안녕하세요 So normal people like me make an appearance Just appear in this program and talk about their own worry Like oh my father is drinking too much and he doesn't come back home Or my brother always singing at late at night It's just like personal worries And they talk about their worries and these people give advice also the people who they are um, trouble with appear and try to communicate and to solve this issue and that's what it's about and the my favorite part is their advice actually they give advice to these normal people and i feel like they are giving me the advice <laughs> you know everyone has worries don't you? <laughs> yes, I also have worries. And for example, if I mess up in life, I worry about that too. <laughs> but they really comfort me. They encourage me. <laughs> so please check it out. I think the best part of this show is you can always watch it on YouTube and they have um, English subtitle. So you can actually learn some Korean phrases <laughs> while watching the English subtitles. And if you are confident in reading Korean or listening Korean, you don't need subtitles, so you can turn it off easily. Okay, so this is the TV show that I watch very often. And next, next TV show I prepared is Taran on Pretty Rap Star. On pretty rap star. In Korean, it is on pretty rap star. If you read it fast, it's on pretty rap star. On pretty rap star. So this is a rap competition, reality show basically, and featuring only uh, female rap stars, but they are pretty. <laughs> but this on pretty doesn't mean doesn't talk about really their appearance. It's more like cool. On pretty rap star. Ta da! Like this, like this. So, do you know about Jessie? Well, actually, this program become very popular thanks to her. She is very talented, and after she appear in this program. Yeah, it become more and more popular. You should definitely check it out. And you can also find their uh, music on YouTube too, on Pretty Rap Stars track too. Her name is Chita, <laughs> and she is very talented too. And she, yeah, she's good. They are, they are very good. So check it out. On Pretty Rap Star, on Pretty Rap Star. Next one. 따란 냉장고를 부탁해 냉장고를 부탁해 냉장고를 부탁해 냉장고 means refrigerator refrigerator 냉장고 냉장고 I remember some of my students said oh 냉장고 is hard to pronounce <laughs> so it's 냉장고 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 를 is a particle and 부탁해 means Mm, please take care of, please take care of, or please do me a favor, please do me a favor. So it means please take care of my refrigerator, or please do me a favor, 
and do something with my refrigerator. So, 냉장고를 부탁해. Isn't the title too long? 냉장고를 부탁해. 냉장고를 부탁해. Yes, this is too long for Korean people. So, we shorten this. It's 냉부해. So, 냉장고를 부탁해 is too long. So, we just shorten it this way. 냉부해. 냉 from 냉장고. 부 from 부탁 and 해 here. 냉부해, 냉부해. So what kind of program is it? Taran. Can you guys guess? Yeah, as you can see here, there are lots of chef. Yes, this is basically the show where um, chef competing each other by using limited resource from the fridge of celebrity. So a celebrity make an appearance here with their fridge. Like, oh, I have, for example, like I have cheese or paprika or coke, sausage, and some like pork. These are what I have in my fridge inside. And these chefs see their um, fridge and then cook <laughs> and compete each other. And then, the celebrity pick one person whose food, whose dish was their favorite. So basically, this is about cooking a uh, channel in a fun way. <laughs> so if you want to see what celebrities have um, in their fridge, then you can watch this. You can also see their great cooking skills. So check it out. Actually, not everyone is chef. I think this person, <laughs> this person is illustrator, is cartoon, cartoon drawler, this. <laughs> so he doesn't have professional knowledge about cooking, but he has um, cheating way, <laughs> cheating ways to cook delicious food, like using ketchup or like lots of sugar. So check it out, this 냉장고를 부탁해. Short way, 냉부해, 냉부해. Next one. Tara. Bijongsang Hedam. Bijongsang Hedam. Bijongsang Hedam. Well, Jongsang Hedam. Jongsang Hedam means submit. But B is an abnormal. So they are not exactly submit. <laughs> they are <laughs> but they're abnormal. Or there's another English English uh, title which is non submit. Not submit. So if you see this program, you know this is taran this program. But please know that this is actually over. <laughs> this program la uh, finished last year. But the reason why I chose this program is, except for these three uh, speakers, these all main members are all foreigners, just like you. They didn't speak any Korean before, but they learned Korean a few years, and they are so fluent now. They can even debate, talking about some politics or social issues or anything. They are excellent. So I just want you to watch this program, actually, and get encouraged and motivated. You can do it. <laughs> you can be as fluent as them. So they are just foreigners, just like you, learning um, Korean. So, the uh, it started 2014 and it was one of my favorite program definitely because if there is any one topic for example like politics and he talk about oh in Italy we think this way and then we try to solve this way and then he said oh in Japan we did this but I don't think like something something and then like they all have different opinions and they also introduce um, how it's like in their own country. I'm sure you can speak like them. And also, you know, when you use some phrases and expression in the discussion, debate, the level of Korean language is pretty high. So I'm sure you can really learn good Korean phrases that you can actually use it in like university or even in your workplace. The way they speak is really great. And also the way they work, the words and phrases they use are also 
not very good. So please check it out. And next, I prepared was 복면 가왕. 복면 가왕. If you read it letter by letter, it's 복면 가왕. 복면 가왕. But if you read it fast, it's 복면 가왕. 복면 가왕. It's not 복면 가왕. 복면 가왕. 복 is actually like clothes. And then 면 is like face. So clothes face? Yes, it's mask. 복면 is mask. 가 is from singing. Like for example, singer is 가수. 가수 in Korean. 가수. Singer is 따란. 가수. 가수. So 가 here means singing. Singing. So this word, this letter includes the meaning of singing. And 왕 means king. So mask singing king. Well, the <laughs> title is King of Mask Singer. Ta-da! Like this, they are all wearing masks. Why? This is a Korean singing show. And if you see, the full name actually is Mystery 음악 Show. Mystery 음악 Show. Mystery means mystery in English. And 음악 Show, 음악 Show means, 음악 means music, and show means show. So, mystery music show, 분명 가왕. So, the contestants wear a mask and sing. And they compete each other. And then they, the reason why they wear a mask is they try to hide their identity from audience and judge of the show. So, people don't know who are singing. The interesting part of this program is actually there are lots of idol groups who have great voice and talent, but they usually sing about dance music, so people don't know how talented they are. But they actually hide their face and sing, then people realize, wow, they have really good voice. Great talent, great voice. So these help um, people enjoy the pure talent of their contestants. So check it out. <laughs> yeah, you can see their interest in masks too. Mask. <laughs> oh, and I remember this program becomes so popular and you can actually watch the same program in the Thailand. Of course, it's Thai version of this program. So everyone is Thai people. But yes, this program is very nice, very popular. Next one is Produce 48. <laughs> so actually, I googled and a lot of people are confused. How should I read this? Should I read 48 in Korean or should I read it in English way? So a lot of people just read this 48, Produce 48. 사 means 4, 8 means 8, Produce 48. But it's Produce 48. Produce 48. Do you know about AKB48? It's a popular female idol group in Japan. And they did a collaboration with these. So made Produce 48. So some of them are Japanese people, some of them are Korean. So basically, it's a competition TV show. So they do the audition and they pick the members. And the final members become Produce 48. Produce 48. And then, yeah, they debuted. But for limited period of time, not forever. Do you remember IOI or 101? They are actually from this TV program. And then they don't, they don't uh, sing together anymore, right? They are just project group, project group. So if you are interested in knowing how a Korean idol group is made, check it out. You will find how they do the audition and also how they are chosen, how they react. Produce 48. 
<laughs> okay, next. Tara. This is pretty long. Yes. 세상에 나쁜 개는 없다. 세상에 나쁜 개는 없다. 세상에 means in the world. In the world. 나쁜 means bad. 개, dogs. 는 없다. Means there are no. So it literally means there are no bad dogs in the world. 세상에 나쁜 개는 없다. 세상에 나쁜 개는 없다. 따라. Yes, so this is a dog training related TV show. I think this kind of concept is very popular in other countries, but in Korea, it's getting popular these days, quite recently. And then the dog trainer, Kang hyung is very popular. Kang hyung -woo. Kang hyung -woo. He is a dog trailer. <laughs> dog trainer. And then he's called Ke Tong Ryong. Because he know about the dogs very well. What does this mean? Ke means dog. Tong Ryong is from the word De Tong Ryong. De Tong Ryong. It means present. So everyone called him present of dogs. He is really great. He reads um, the mind of dogs. Like he, every episode, he introduced cases and how to solve the pr problems that the do their pet dogs presented. You can also learn training tips as well as Korean. So, 세상에 나쁜 개는 없다. This program became very popular thanks to Kang Hyung Woo. But actually, Kang Young Woo left this program. But still, this is a great TV show you should watch. But anyway, since this program becomes so popular, there is a cat version of it. It's 고양이를 부탁해. Do you remember 냉장고를 부탁해? Please take care of my refrigerator. This is please take care of my cat. So this is just cat version of this TV show. So you can enjoy um, watching cute dogs and how to train but this program is very popular since more and more people have a cat in korea okay so today we learned about the 10 tv shows how was it i hope you enjoyed it and if you haven't watched these and you are still looking for what tv program to watch to improve your korean these are my 10 recommendations so please check it out so I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. And next week, next week I'll be back. <laughs> I promise you. I'll be back and I'll be talking about Korean pickup lines. Yes, do you want to pick up some <laughs> Korean idol groups, actor, actresses? Don't worry, I'll prepare some Korean pickup lines for you so you can use it. And also common lines that Korean people use that also, you can find in Korean drama. So please check it out. And please don't forget to join it. It will be November 1st, Thursday as usual at 1 p.m. in Korean time. So it will be different in your time. So please check it out. And thank you so much for joining this class. And please leave a comment since this is not live, even though it's live. <laughs> I'll make sure to check your comments. So please check it out and then Again, I introduced lots of Korean TV show today, but if you don't know the Korean vocabulary, these TV shows might be very difficult. So please check out our free vocabulary cheat sheet and learn Korean vocabulary, phrases, expressions. So check it out. This is free, so check it out. So thank you so much, guys, and I hope to see you next week too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hi everyone, are you there? Hello, hello guys. I think Jenna and Beyond the Scene and Caesar as usual.